Clay Monsters How To Session 1 You're going to learn how to transform your lump of clay into your body shape. First of all, take your lump of clay, get your design in front of you. Decide how many parts your monster is going to be split into. This lesson we're just going to focus on the main body shape. So cut your clay into the amount of parts that you're going to need. Put your body shape to one side and then wrap the rest of your body parts in a bit of black plastic. Remember you're going to need this plastic for the next few weeks so be careful to wrap it up nice and tightly, put your name on it and secure it and put it to one side for next week. You're now going to need to decide whether your base is going to be a pinch pot or a coil pot. Pinch pots are for the more simpler shapes, coil pots for the more complicated shapes. Okay, remember to knead the air out of your clay and then you're going to start to form your base. Take your time with this. Try not to handle the clay too much though, otherwise it will dry up and you'll need to add water to it. Just shape it into the same body shape as your monster. Try to smooth out any cracks and marks and lines on it. Just using your finger or using one of the clay tools and get it into the correct shape. You can check against your design if you've got the right body shape. That is your focus for today, the body shape. The next thing you might be asking is why do they have to be hollow? Well, here are some examples from last year. As you can see, they can stand up, but they're still hollow in the middle. The reason that you have to have a hollow um, base is because when they go into the kiln, if they get when they get fired, if it's too thick, they will explode. Like this one, unfortunately, from last year, which didn't make it. <laughs> Good luck. Next week, we'll be focusing on adding the limbs. Remember to check your level sheet. Have a good month.